Hello there, YouTube. Uh, my name's Ink Raven, and today I'm going to talk about a few ways you can help eliminate most of your lag in Skyrim. This seems to be a very common issue that happened after a recent patch. Now, if you're using anything other than PC, unfortunately, I won't be able to help you. However, if you are using PC, I know two tricks that have personally helped me a lot. Now, the first trick is actually going to involve your My Documents folder. So if you can, let's go ahead and start it. Click on Start documents. Then from here you'll see a folder called My Games. Double click My Games, then go to Skyrim. From here you'll see Skyrim Preferences, or Skyrim P-R-E-F-S. Alright guys, double click on that. Now once you're inside the folder, use Control F for the Find feature, and from here type in the word Gamepad. Without any. And then hit Find Next. You'll see Gamepad enable equals 1. What we want to go ahead and do is set that to equals 0. What this does is disable the gamepad. If you're using a mouse and keyboard, you don't need it. After you've set this to 0, click Find Next, and then hit Find Next one more time. This will bring Gamepad Rumble equals 1 again. Let's go ahead and set that to 0. After you set both of the gamepads to 0, go ahead and hit the X, Yes, Save Changes, and hopefully this will fix your issue. Run the game and see if you are now no longer suffering lag. Now if you're like me, unfortunately this did not fix any of the issues and you're still having a lot of lag. What I did to fix the issue was I actually changed my power settings. To do that, go ahead and press Start, Control Panel, then once you're in your Control Panel, go to Hardware and Sound, from hardware and sound, you'll see change power saving settings under power options. Okay, you can see I've currently set up a preferred plan and it's called for Skyrim. Let's go ahead and set up one for yourself. On the left hand side, you'll see create a power plan. Go ahead and click on that and it'll ask you which type of power plan you want to set up. Click on high performance. From here, give it a name. It's whatever you want. And you can spell name correctly if you want as well. Hit next. Choose how <laughs> excuse me. How soon you want your display to turn off and if you ever want your computer to go to sleep. Personally, I don't want my computer to ever go to sleep. It's on guard duty 24-7. After you've selected these two options, hit curate and make sure it's selected. Because I like the word for Skyrim. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Okay. Then once you have these things set, close out and go ahead and run your game. This personally fixed it for me. If this is still not working for you, um, go ahead and try running the game um, on a lower settings. If you can run the game on a much lower settings, then odds are it's probably a hardware performance issue and less of Skyrim's fault. Most of the issues that the PlayStation 3 was experiencing was due to high, or not high, very large save data. Um, while personally I really don't think that will affect PC users and the patch they released afterwards did fix that, it shouldn't be the issue. However, if your Skyrim game is not up to date, I recommend letting Steam update the game. Unless you don't have internet access, which I'm really confused how you're watching this video. Next, after that, um, more than anything, I would make sure your drivers are up to date. A game or a graphics card without up to date drivers can perform terribly. So go ahead and head to um, ATI, NVIDIA, whoever your graphics card provider is, and go ahead and update to the latest drivers. In fact, Skyrim is such a popular game, they might have preset settings for you. Now, you don't need a very powerful computer to run Skyrim, even at very high settings. Personally, I'm using a NVIDIA GeForce 460 GTX graphics card. This is a 2 gigabyte. Um, one gigahertz GPU processor. Um, that's very, very good. It's no longer top of the line. It's about a $200 graphics card. So if you're running a graphics card better than that, you should be able to play the game in high or ultra settings. So definitely look into these two previous mentioned performance tweaks to see if you can't help out your game. I know RAM and CPU do play a huge part in it. I'm personally running 8 gigs of RAM, but if I'm not mistaken, the game only requires 4 gigs of RAM. I also have a quad-core 3.0 gigahertz processor, um, my processor, which is a quad-core, I never see the game use more than 60% of my CPU usage at any given time, and I average about 28% RAM usage. So, 
honestly, the average person has about 6 gigs of RAM, and a dual core higher than 3, or a quad core around 2.5 gigahertz processor. Those settings will be able to run the game on medium settings. So definitely make sure your graphics cards drivers are up to date, as well as everything else. Um, if you're using Windows, make sure Windows itself has all the necessary bells and whistles it wants, as well as make sure Skyrim's up to date. If you don't keep these games up to date, you might see performance drop. The final issue, which I kind of want to give a little bit of grim news on, is a lot of people who have recently installed Dawnguard are starting to see issues with the crossbow and player animations. Where while they're playing the game, they'll actually see the character completely not doing any animations, stand with their arms at their sides, and look like a training dummy. Now, for this issue, I've tried pretty much everything. Um, if you go online, you're going to see a lot of forum posts where they talk about removing certain files within the behavior settings, updating new animation files, etc., etc. Personally, I tried all of these methods and I've updated the animations, I removed behavior settings, I replaced behavior settings, I got unofficial patches, I got official patches, nothing worked. In fact, I started seeing game crashes throughout every part of the aspect of the game. Things that were broken became broken. The best thing I can recommend is if you didn't back up the game, go ahead and uninstall and reinstall. Now, you will be using Steam if you're playing Skyrim for PC. So how you do this is you'll actually launch Steam. Then once there, right-click on Skyrim and click on Delete Local Content. This will remove all of Skyrim's information. And when you tell it to reinstall again, you'll actually get, if you have Dawnguard or any other expansions when this comes out, it will actually install them all together. Now, unfortunately, I... My personally, what I've done after this is because everything you edit in mod is only inside the data folder. If you're forced to reinstall the game, I recommend the very first thing you do after you have everything re-uploaded is create a backup of your data folder. Where you can find that is actually inside your Steam directory. Um, I already have a shortcut here because I go there so often. But once you're inside your Steam, go to Steam Apps, Common, and then Skyrim. From here, you see a folder called Data. Simply right-click or hold right click and drag over to the right and it will give you the option that says you know copy here create a copy and this way you'll never have to reinstall the game and if you're very very desperate and you're somehow still patient and you really need a backup data file you can send me a message it'll take me a year and a half to read it because they I don't seem to get notification that people are messaging me because it's just a lot of spam I get well that was a bit of a tangent um, I'll see if I can't do a zip drive and create a data folder for you. That I cannot promise, just because that is 6.6 .6 gigahertz of zip drive. And I don't really have a place to put it other than my own website, and I really don't want to clog up that much disk space on my website. No offense, but if you need it, definitely tell me your urgency about how your grandfather is dying because you can't kill the dragons a Timuriel, and we'll go ahead and see if we can't work something out. Other than that, I do hope you were able to find some of these things helpful, I definitely would really appreciate a like, a favorite, a subscribe, anything. But it doesn't matter. Just don't dislike it. That breaks my heart, and I cry a lot because of it. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it helpful. And I'm going to go ahead and end this on a pretty funny glitch or bug and or fun factor I've discovered while playing with my new summonable dragon. Hope you guys enjoy it. Again, stay tuned, and I do hope you're now running at 60 frames per second. Happy gaming, everyone.